Hello, Kyle here. Welcome back to my channel. This is my PS5 and Xbox gaming setup in the wired mode. I'll explain why in just a little bit. I recently upgraded my home Wi-Fi network with this Wavelink AX6000. And I've been very, very happy with its performance and signal strength across different floor levels. Now I'm in the office, which is two floors above the router and the signal has to penetrate a big uh, granite slab, uh, my kitchen countertop, and I'm getting about a third of the speed I'm paying for Verizon Fios. Uh, that is um, maybe around 100, 120 megabits per second. I'm paying 300 megabits per second. As a parent of two kids, the parental control feature inside the router is really important. I'm gonna show you how that works in the app as well. And this router supports 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi frequencies in the one combined Wi-Fi names. You probably know that some video doorbells or vacuum cleaners, they don't support 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Therefore, a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi frequency is great for backward compatibility. But before we dive into details, here's a very important tip that you should know when you are upgrading your Wi-Fi routers is that you can always keep your existing Wi-Fi name to avoid configuring all your smart devices one by one like laptop, iPads, iPhone, or your security cameras. You can actually just keep the name and all the existing devices will connect to your new router automatically without having to do anything extra. So both my PS5 and the Xbox are actually wired directly into this router, giving me much, much higher performance than uh, just using the Wi-Fi network. The cable management here is not the best, but I will clean things up later. I still have two more available ports. It has eight foldable antennas. Comes with a power supply and the ethernet cable. Quick start guide. Plug in the DC power supply. The internet input is the 2.5G WAN. Plug in the cable to my uh, Verizon Fios router. Then we got four outputs. So we can connect either of these four ports to the computer to set it up for the first time. The other end goes into my laptop or you can do it wirelessly using the phone, but I, f I find uh, using a computer screen a bit easier. Open up the browser. We type in the IP address. Experience now, it automatically detects the internet connection. Use the default setting, click next. I'll set the time zone. You can keep the Wi-Fi name as the previous Wi-Fi name used by your old router to avoid setting up uh, connecting all your devices to the uh, router all over again. That will save you a lot of time using the same password. And it's done. It's restarting. Under AINet, there's a very important setting, the AIQOE or quality of experience. So it will automatically optimize using AI, or you can do a specific selection. For example, in this case, if we wanna have a low pin, high response gaming experience for Minecraft, we can pick gaming. Behind the scenes, I think it probably has a uh, default list for Zoom meetings or um, Microsoft team meetings to optimize that speed connection if you work from home, streaming, and just click save to have the current setting uh, be applied to the router. It has the automatic update feature where it can check for new versions, probably will sync up the list with its server and um, update the built-in list. There are two ways to do parental control using this router. 
either you enable a dedicated parental Wi-Fi and set a rule to have it enabled or disabled in this time a predefined um, time frame, or you can go to more AI net parental control and add a profile. For example, I'm just going to add a iPad and pick a uh, device address. Note the uh, device MAC address is used is not the IP address because this one is unique. IP address can potentially change. And for that specific device, I'm just going to block the gaming uh, from certain time frame. If I add Minecraft, if that game does not um, belong to the list or if it doesn't work, you can always add some uh, keyword filters. I just want to show you a bit more here uh, for games. It will block all the popular services or you can just select all that will include streaming services. It also includes shopping, sports, dating, gambling, illegal drug, um, adult content. So all these things can be um, selected or you can include additional keywords filter, have it blocked daily, uh, weekly, every Monday, or always. Yeah, I guess always is a good option. Or you can pick a start and end time. If you pick daily, if I remove always, then you will, be ha you will have the option to pick a set time to uh, block these um, online services. I'm going to add this MAC address, click save. From the home page, we can enable or disable this device in terms of parental control, view its log, or remove it, create a new profile. It's worth mentioning that you will get a lot more control and customization if you visit the Wavelink router web control uh, console. You will get a dashboard here change the Wi-Fi username and password, the network setting, and most importantly, you will get a, the AI net web UI. From here, we can also change the uh, gaming experience or the meeting office, just like you would on your phone, but um, it gives you more uh, refined adjustment here. Update the database. Uh, under the parental control, we get pretty much the same experience. You can edit. Uh, it's, you know, a larger screen, it's a lot easier to do. I also want to point out there is a VPN option where you can simply go here to enable the VPN, um, log in with your username and password. Uh, there's an um, open VPN client or the server. So in this way, everything is protected under one VPN. There's wired guard, VPN client, uh, all sorts of, um, from different providers. There's also a U USB, you can set it as a storage server, USB te tethering, uh, print service, remote access. Under clients, here's an overview of every device connected. I mean, I can simply just flip a switch to block access um, of this Akara hub, for example. It shows the connection type, whether it's 5G or 2.4 gigahertz connection. Usually, these internet over th those um, IoT devices uh, would um, utilize the 2.4 gigahertz connection. You can, you can rename it uh, for this specific IP address or MAC address because uh, you probably want to know what is uh, connected to the router and keep an eye on them. If something suspicious, you can always block them. Uh, there are offline cl clients. Uh, you, you can set a speed limit. There, there's a lot more to it. So, yeah, I like this, re this kind of uh, refined control over all my uh, devices over the internet in my local area network.